and and so we'll wait uh, we'll wait for the signals and everything else to settle down a little bit so as uh, as expected we have google here uh, which is on the very bearish we have uh, apple also is showing very bearish tesla is showing very bearish uh, amazon is showing neutral but it should uh, it should go into uh, bearish at some point i mean uh, into into very bearish and uh, let's see what was the other one okay it's over here netflix is very bearish amazon also has moved into very bearish and so let's uh, let's look at amazon because that could be a good trade for today so let's focus on uh, i think uh, netflix i mean uh, tesla is down about 3.9 and google is down about 8 okay so google is looking quite bearish at this point uh, it's down 9 so let's put google on the chart so you can see the smp is uh, is, is still struggling there's no question and whereas google recovered a little bit so let's go take a look at google on the uh, on the on the options uh, so if we wanted to go for a put because these are expensive options i would go for a slightly lower delta which would be about a 32 maybe a 30 we don't have a 30 so uh, we can go for this one i think uh, it's still, okay it's already going down a little bit okay so that would be about four dollars and 20 cents so we're looking at a two thousand dollar trade two thousand four hundred dollar trade there let's see what the mid price uh, we get okay so we got uh, five google uh, five google puts here and uh, let's watch the let's watch the smp as well as google here so we have amazon also looking quite bearish it's down 25 right now Let's see our position down about 120, 110. Okay, no problem. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch Google. We are in that trade. So, okay, Google's going down. Yes, ES is halfway down, but that's because the very bearish uh, column is uh, is full of uh, is full of stocks that are very bearish. So, uh, it's uh, it would be halfway down. Yeah. Certainly, one more thing to keep in mind is, um, and this is an important one actually. When we look at this column, the day trades, the more number of very bearish stocks that you see on the list, the, it's telling you that even the breadth of the market is weak. The breadth meaning like, you know, the number of stocks that are weak is also is, is also quite a lot. And therefore, that will have an impact on the overall uh, on the market also, because at the end of the day, that is a very serious internal, which is advanced minus declines and uh, also uh, the the advancing volume minus uh, the declining volume. So those kinds of things are also important. So just by eyeballing this, we see that there are no very bullish at all. And uh, if the number of very bearish is increasing, that means the breadth of the market is getting weaker. And so if we are in a put trade, that gives you a little bit more confidence to stay in the trade when you have the breadth of the market weakening. Most of the stocks are all showing very bearish and uh, the breadth of the market is somewhat weakening, but we have a whole list of stocks that are very bearish. So it still tells you that the breadth of the market is still weak. Okay, so 1072. Now you can see the S&P taking a taking a nice dip down. Google's 1068 now, but you can see the S&P is trying to recover a little bit. So I would be uh, I would be careful as to not to give up uh, too much. Okay, we've got 263. That's about 12%. I'm going to take two contracts off. Yeah, you can see the S&P making, trying to make some kind of a recovery there. Okay, 540. So we have a little bit of profit booked on Google. So let's see what we have now. All right, we are up 256 for the day, and Google is looking weak. So let's just and and S&P is also being uh, is being uh, uh, sold off a little bit there. So now we are at 1068, and so this may not be this may not be a very bad trade after all. So 350. Okay, 377. If it can go a little bit more down, then I think we can take off. Okay, 400 bucks. I'm going to take off. Let's say sell. Um, I don't want to take off the whole thing. Let's say sell sell two, and uh, at 570 because it's still going down a little bit. In fact, I'll take off just one. Okay, 580. I think it can go. Oh, it's now it's come back to 560. I'll tell you what. The S&P is still looking. You know, it's looking pretty bullish. So I'm going to take off. 
I'm going to take off the position because uh, the S&P uh, S&P price action is definitely uh, somewhat bullish here. So let's just take this off and see see where we stand. Okay, 560. We are out on Google and 360 dollars. Okay, all right, not too bad, but. Um, could have made a little more, but as you can see today, Google and S&P did not correlate very well. So 360 is not bad. We paid 2,400, so that's about 15%. It's not bad. So if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this bit.ly link. It's bit.ly uh, slash day hyphen signals. Now the day and the, uh, the D and the S has to be capitals. And once you go there, you can get a free trial. You can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial and uh, at the end of one week if you don't want to continue you can just send us an email at info at option tiger.com and we'll give you a full refund so once again the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals with the dns in caps thank you